Hi everyone, right now we will give collision to our ring, board, and ground, and then we will check the interaction with the ball. Let's do this. First, let's create empty game object to store our collider. So, create empty, and then name it colliders, just to organize it, and then create empty again. So inside the colliders, let's create ground or grounds maybe and add component in grounds, add box collider 2D. After that, let's adjust our collider. Edit collider and move the offset first to the right place. I will put it right here and so the ball can touch the right position and then Set our size and pull it until it's out of the screen. I think this is enough for the ground. And there's our ring and our board. Let's create our board first. Again, create empty object named board and add component box collider 2D. Again, we will adjust the position and the size. Offset. I'll put it here and in the top. And edit the collider to edit it more exact. Like this. And I will give the position to the right like this. So the ball will bounce like this them and goes in make it thinner yeah like this and I think it should be more lower okay now it's perfect next is our ring give our empty object name ring Again, add box collider 2D, set the offset, and then let's resize it. We can just make it very, very thin, like this. And then we can copy this component and paste as new so we have two right now and let's move the second one set the offset to the right and this one is more thinner than the left let's adjust and as you can see there's a difference in the y position so let's adjust it Okay, like that, and resize it again, and make it thinner. I think it also can be much thinner, like this. Okay. Done. Let's try the ball collision with them. Okay. Now we are already able to check the collision but it's automatically reset its position when it's collided to anything. It's because in our script, we didn't check anything when collide. So we will change that. Okay. Stop it. And open our script. Here is our ball script. Open it and See in the on collision enter 2D, this reset its position. So we need to check if it's ground or not. I will use tag for checking and the tag name is ground. Of course we haven't created it. We will create it soon. Let's add check if it's not collision game object dot tag. 
equals ground then return so if the object is not ground in the tag then return it will not run this command save it get back and let's give our ground collider a tag go to ground and see this tag is untagged so we can create new tag name ground again ground set the tag to ground That's it. Let's try. Nice. Okay. Now it's detecting our ground. Cool. As you can see, our trajectory is gone. And why is that? As you know, we are using order layer. Let's check it in our wall. The sorting layer is in the wall, but the line renderer is using sorting layer default, which is the bottom of all. You can see it on additional settings in line renderer. So we can just change the sorting layer to front. Save it. Oh, sorry. Stop. And then change sorting layer to front. Save it. Play. Let's try this. Okay, nice. Now our trajectory is back. Cool, right? And see this. I will try to put the ball behind the half of the board. Let's see. Like this. Oh, still in front. Let's try again. Like this. Still in the front, okay, sorry. One more time, more aggressive. Nice. How about it? Do you like it? That's it for this video. Next, we will create the score system and the score logic. If you like this kind of video series, please do like and subscribe. You'll find more and more complete project tutorials later. I also have Patreon if you'd like to support me in doing more of this. I'll leave the link in the video description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.